The Bible reading for today continues our study on the book of Job. Job chapter 28. There is mine for silver and a place where gold is refined. Iron is taken from the earth and copper is smelted from ore. Mortals put an end to the darkness. They search out the farthest recesses for ore in the blackest darkness. Far from human dwellings, they cut a shaft in places untouched by human feet. Far from other people, they dangle and sway. The earth from which food comes is transformed below by fi- as by fire. Lapis lazu comes from the rocks and its dust contains nuggets of gold. No bird of prey knows the hidden path. No falcon's eye has seen it. Proud beasts do not set foot on it and no lion prowls there. People assault the flinty rock with their hands and lay bare the roots of the mountains. They tunnel through the rock, their eyes see all its treasures. They search the sources of the rivers and bring hidden things to light. But where can wisdom be found? Where does understanding dwell? No mortal comprehends its worth. It cannot be found in the land of the living. The deep says, it is not in me. The sea says, it is not in me. It cannot be bought with the finest gold, nor can its price be weighed out in silver. It cannot be bought with gold of Ophir, with precious onyx or lapis lazuli. Neither gold nor crystal can compare with it, nor can it be had for jewels or gold. Coral and jasper are not worthy of mention. The price of wisdom is beyond rubies. The topaz of Cush cannot compare with it. It cannot be bought with pure gold. When then does wisdom come from? Where does understanding dwell? Is it hidden from the eyes of everything living? Concealed even from the birds of the sky? Destruction and death say, only a rumour of it has reached our ears. God understands the way to it, and he alone knows where it dwells. For he views the ends of the earth, and he sees everything under the heavens. When he established the force of the wind and measured out the waters, when he made a decree for the rain and a path for the thunderstorm, then he looked at wisdom and appraised it. He confirmed it and tested it, and he said to the human race, The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to shun evil is understanding.